he was a Falco Meta Knight player, Marth. Uh, now he's picking Snake here in this iteration of the game. He played Meta Knight. He's gonna know how to deal with it. The Meta Knight. I feel like this can be this could be a tough matchup for him as far as zoning. If he if he respects the grenades too much and he never really tries to jump in and just stay on top of Snake. Oh, and it's it's actually that much more harder because if Armando hangs onto their grenade. S2H uh, uh, approaching options are actually quite limited because right there, they're just going to trade with Grenade. The Snake's a much heavier character. He's going to take those trades all day, every day. Every time I see Battlefield not get banned against the Snake, I'm like, uh, I don't know how this one's going to go. There are just so many different things you can make happen with the C4, with the Grenades as far as zoning. He's going to be quite the wascally wab at the track now. That's right. He's going to set up his traps. He's going to make it very difficult with uh, setting up a wall of projectiles, as you can see. S2H haven't forced to recover high, but still got clipped with that up air. But he did get a falling forward air. Unfortunately, wasn't able to convert off that. Yeah, I feel like there was definitely some more on the table there as far as pressure goes. Armando, iron blowing himself up, apparently. Up tilt, that's going to miss. Double shield. And S2H not the correct percent for the down down throw into up tilt to work just yet. But he did put S2H in a like, horrible oh. position right there. Snake does Pilates, man. <laughs> He's got to do something to stretch his leg up like that. <laughs> Some type of yoga or, you know, he definitely put in work. He has a 24-hour gym membership, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. He's playing the fitness. There. Throws a, the C4 down. Only 97% racked up so far. Mondo has to feel really good about how his chances look for the rest of his bracket. S2H, he's got to be on plan C by now. because The first couple of options he's tried to get in close just haven't really met him. Yeah, if he's able to get a grab and throw uh, Armando off stage, then he is going to have access to like those strong back airs and just uh, edge guarding tools that Meta Knight has. But it's getting Armando in that position that's going to be the hard part. Even right there, you see the way he's holding the grenade, and then he approaches and slides a little bit forward with the grab. It makes it very difficult to approach him. I feel like Meta Knight, he wants someone, he wants to go up against another brawler in your face style of, of character, and Armando's just not trying to have it. 125% sneak is heavy, so he's going to be able to come back. You got to be careful how you uh, deal with him returning, too, because he can drop the C4. That's right. And on some stages, like like Final Destination, you know that C4 is almost invisible. <laughs> right. And if you're one because we see a lot of players play with their own music, their own headphones and stuff, so to not have that audio cue, you can find out the hard way more often than not. s 2 ways down in his last stock. Still opportunities to come away with this first game, but uh, starting to be a close window. That's right. And a lot of explosions we see from Armando, but s 2 still living, hanging, just looking for his opportunity. Oh my god, even right there. It's such, such an infuriating match to play against when your opponent just drops bombs in the middle of your ladder. You afford yourself setting the tone whenever you pick Snake, because he actually has some pretty strong up-close options as far as throws go. At 160% down throw on the up tilt, that's going to be confirmed. The up tilt period is always a threat you have to work out. And Armando seems to be weaving in and out really well. At some moments, he's playing his own game. Other moments, he's running for the dash attack, getting a throw in, getting in a back air. He's pretty tough to catch. Dimensional cage going to work out for S2H as he cleans up Armando's second stock. But 114%, that's a lot. You know, uh, Armando's just going to attack on a little bit extra percent, then he's going to start fishing for those up tilts. Right there, already doing it. He's already going. S2H is off on the by the ledge, and he's going for these up tilts. Armando definitely in the commander seat, only 7.5%. These grenades are starting to really become a problem for S2H as far as percentage goes. I mean, it does percent with it if it connects with you. It does even more if it explodes. Armando in full control of the game right now. S2H, I know in the back of my mind, he's, he's like... All right, I'm never going on Battlefield again against Snake. But in the immediate moment, he just has to find a way around these grenades and it's up for this up smash. Okay, able to avoid the second hit. Oh. But the dash attack is going to be enough to take it. He's tough, man. Snake is really tough to deal with because he has that explosive potential. He catches you with the up tilt at the right time, that's your stock. Catches you with the dash attack at the right time, that's your stock. So if you're sitting there watching him juggle grenades the whole time and he jumps out of nowhere into it, one of those... How do you deal with it? I'm actually quite surprised that uh, Armando went for a dash attack in that position because S2H was at the point where um, even like a down throw up tilt would confirm. Yeah. So he had a quite he had a few safer options that he could have chosen, but he hadn't really dash attacked that entire game. So 
uh, SUH was quite conditioned. Right. Did not expect that. I definitely think conditioning was was a large part of that. Not at all surprised to see us go to a different battleground. This is this is gonna make Snake a lot more onyx. As far as chances for S2H goes, I do think that this is gonna help him out a lot without dealing with those platforms. He can get on the Snake more often. He can, but at the same time, he still has to deal with a barrage of of explosives. And then with the way that Armando's cooking their grenades, it makes it even harder to tell when that explosion is going to happen. I mean, everyone knows, he, as soon as Snake pulls out that grenade, three seconds on the clock. You might have to go in some of these neutral exchanges as S2H just understanding that here, you might end up eating a grenade and just eating the neutral outright. But the more you play this waiting game and look for the opportunity and the moment to go in, Armando doesn't really seem like he's going to give those too often. He definitely has a solid understanding of this character. So he is cooking the grenades, like you said. And uh, I don't know, the passive play, I don't think it's going to work out for s I mean, he definitely has to find his openings. And the, the, the scariest part is that Armando, if if the uh, <laughs> any explosion actually happens, he's able to convert off it. We've seen, have, we've seen him do it before. Michael Bay out here. Armando is definitely controlling the stage with the explosions. S2H is able to battle their way back on, catches a grenade. Armando also apparently Snake uh, throws a fastball on the mound, too. He's getting his grenades out, too. But a uh, falling air dodge into an up smash. S2H will take that. 137% stage seems to, be, seems to be working out much better for S2H. There we go. For 160, not the magic percent. Doesn't need it. Gets the first stop. I like the aggression coming off the invincibility platform. Just using that invincibility, exploding the there grenades in his face. This is what we need out of S2H. These opportunities, as rare as they are, to get in on Armando, you have to capitalize. The first that was a 40 plus percent off of one combo. He needs to keep doing things like that if he wants to get a one instead of a zero at the top of that screen. Okay, back to cooking grenades. Wow, good bounce. Just waiting out the Ooh. up smash. Nice attack of a follow-up there. S2H, the punish game has to be strong in Snake. Ooh, forward smash, 112% heavy or not, you're gone. That's right, that F smash is so strong. And it's also quite quick, too. So, like, we've actually seen S2H trying to bait Armando into dropping shield or trying to parry it uh, in game one. Not so much here in game two. I mean, selecting uh, his smash attacks is quite wiser. S2H managed to avoid a few of the attacks there. Gets back onto the stage. Got to watch out for the up smash on top of the grenades. And he's just weave himself around there, leaving the wind with his gun. That's right, he's just weaving around the attack, able to actually clip the, the up smash. And then uh, he just kind of ran away because he knew exactly what was coming. But Armando using the side B to just cover his, uh, his fall. One thing we're also seeing is Armando is very much going for the high ground, going off screen time and time again the time he does the times he does need to actually get back on the stage and against Meta Knight that can be a little dangerous because he has moves to be able to do exactly that he can scoop you up if he's able to convert but to see Meta Knight go for like a raw shuttle loop off a, a re high recovery from Snake uh, might be quite rare because we see Armando whenever he's recovering high he's throwing out grenades he's using the the side beat and just kind of dropping it right away. Or he's even throwing out a score. So he has quite a few ways to really apply pressure as and cover his landing. I do think that the, the change in Battleground to final, two final destination allowed S2H more opportunities to get in onto Armando and get full merit out of a punch with combinations. Pokemon Stadium, he can do the same here, but these ledges are definitely going to be something Armando's going to look to explore. Yeah, as you were saying, Armando already, um, you know, making camp under those <laughs> platforms. I mean, that's the safest position in the in the stage. Forget center stage. I want to be underneath. I want to be in the shade. Yeah, no wonder Snake is so pale in his game. Nice combo from S2H. It's Armando off the stage. Oh, good B grenade. reversals. Make it very difficult to tell where he's going to land. Can't shark if you don't know where he's going to land. For on the bottom level. S2H has to be acutely aware of that. Armando not looking to stick around there for too long with the C4 planet. Once S2H commits, we could see that blow up. I like the angles that Armando's throwing the nades at because we've been seeing S2H, especially here in game three, kind of 
Um, playing more defensive, taking center stage, and then doing a lot of down airs from full hot position. So if he's throwing the grenades at that specific angle where they'll actually explode from his down air. And what it's also doing is making the S2H, making his job a lot more difficult as far as establishing the momentum. We saw in the last game he was getting four or five aerial hits in a row. He hasn't really been able to set that up yet because of the platforms offering these, these different opportunities to rely on. A good spacing coming out from Armando. Oh. But s still able to reclaim stage control. Ooh, good cook. Oh, there's Loza. Nice attack. s 2 gets in what he can. No stocks claimed yet. Might have spoken too soon. Snake is going to be able to come back. S2H. Got to watch where this C4 is. Oh! Got him. Anti-air up smash. Even though Armando held the grenade in hand, it wasn't enough. It was not enough to actually save him. Against the snake, sometimes you just have to go for those attacks where you just like rip out the trade. I'm gonna blow up. I'm gonna lose some percentage, but I think it's gonna help me out in the long run. And normally that kind of slants towards Snake's favor because he is a heavier character, nice up tilt there, closing out the first stock. But I mean that's just the nature of the beast. Because sometimes in Snake you just gotta go in. That's right. As you can see, putting uh, that C4 on the platform <laughs> can't 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 use the platform to your advantage. You got a C4 there. He's waiting for you. you. You really have to keep an eye on the entirety of the stage in Snake because very often, I've seen a lot of players just focus on their own character and lose sight of the stage in their peripheral, but the players that can play neutral black by actually keeping their focus between the characters can better keep their eye on the C4 in Snake. Yeah, thankfully on, on uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, it's a little bit easier to see yeah. because everything's very bright right. on the stage. But at the same time, you know, with uh, all the commotion and chaos that's happening like in this game, it's very easy to lose track of where it is. Right now, we, we don't exactly see it on the stage. I don't know if he said it. If he does, he'd be blowing me up with it because I don't see it. Nice combination there. It's going to allow Armando to set up the edge guard game. Up smashes and grenades. This seem to be the flavor of the day. Nice to H. Able to get around it. Back on the stage. That edge guard was actually very reminiscent of uh, Brawl, where uh, snakes would just start mashing up smash and just create this wall of explosions that their opponents would have to deal with. You can see Armada going for that type of tech. Uh, but now, starting to approach oh. a little bit. Oh, getting the trade again. These trades going in Armando's favor, even though both players are taking, reaching these higher percents. There was a heads up play there a moment ago by S2H to be able to get the combination off of Armando blowing himself up with the grenade. You gotta afford yourself whatever opportunity is gonna be laid out there. It's back on the stage. Laser light show, that's gonna be enough. Two stocks down right now. Oh! Right, but a good pickup from S2H is he able to convert one up air into a shuttle loop. Now here we are, game three. One stock apiece, zero percent, and let the grenades fly. Just under four minutes, so both players do have time to try to establish the game as they want. Nice attack there. Even trade, possibly could combo into something more. 38% racked up. S2H has to be happy about that. Sure he was until he ate that grenade right. from underneath, <laughs> the first, underneath the platform. Dash attack. This is exactly what he needs. Get whatever he can. I like that he went for the shuttle loop, but does he see the C4? It's hiding in the red. <laughs> <laughs> For his sake, I certainly hope he does. Mondo could look to blow that up. You see that up B doing some work for him before at that, at that percentage. Oh, forward smash, by the way. That's right, forward smash. Such a strong kill move. Just a strong option in general for Meta Knight to have.